We are remembering the life and legacy of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg today. The late justice is lying in repose outside the Supreme Court, where many Americans are paying their respects this afternoon. Justice Ginsburg, Ginsburg's casket arrived at the Supreme Court this morning, well, it, where it will remain for two days. On Friday, Ginsburg will lie in state at the U.S. Capitol, where she will become the first woman ever to do so. The late justice served for 27 years at the highest court. She leaves behind a legacy of fighting for gender equality, among other accomplishments. She died Friday at the age of 87 from cancer. Our Skylar Henry reports from Washington. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg arrived at the Supreme Court for the last time Wednesday, where she now lies in repose. Ginsburg was remembered as a trailblazer and a fierce advocate for women's rights. This was Justice Ginsburg's life's work, to insist that the Constitution deliver on its promise, that we the people would include all the people. Chief Justice John Roberts said Ginsburg's opinions will guide the court for decades to come. She will live on in what she did to improve the law and the lives of all of us. And yet, still, Ruth is gone and we grieve. Carolyn Curry, Talman, and Renee Bobbitt came from Florida to pay their respects. You know, so many of the things that we take for granted as women and people, you know, she was instrumental in, in providing. So that's, that's really why we felt like we had to be here. President Trump is expected to come to the Supreme Court to pay his respects to Justice Ginsburg tomorrow. The president says he needs to move quickly to name her replacement so the full court can hear any cases that come up from the November election. You're going to need nine justices up there. I think it's going to be very important because what they're doing is a hoax with the ballots. They're sending out tens of millions of ballots unsolicited. President Trump met with Judge Amy Coney Barrett for a second time at the White House Tuesday. And sources tell CBS News she is the leading candidate to replace Justice Ginsburg on the bench. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. For more on Ginsburg's life and legacy, I want to bring in Fatima Goss Graves. She's the president and CEO of the National Women's Law Center and co founder of Time's Up, a movement against sexual harassment. Welcome, Fatima. Thank you so much for joining us. When looking back and considering Ruth Bader Ginsburg's life and legacy, what stands out to you the most? Well, for sure, Justice Ginsburg was a trailblazer for women and really the architect of so many of our foundational rights. So much of what we know about what it means to, for women to be equal in this country under the law came about because of Justice Ginsburg's work, both as the founding head of the ACLU Women's Rights Project, but then again in her role as justice. But I also want to say she was also really a bearer of our country's conscience and a constant reminder of all of the people in this country and what it would look like to have a better union uh, where, where anyone who experienced discrimination or oppression of any form had a place to go and a better path forward. And Fatima, as we mentioned earlier, you are the CEO of the National Women's Law Center. Can you talk to us about the lasting legal impact Justice Ginsburg had on women's rights? There's no question. Um, if we think about the early cases that she litigated that actually determined that women were a part of the Constitution, if you think about it, in her early groundbreaking cases, she had to imagine and create and build a mechanism for that to be true at a time that the court hadn't yet recognized it. But much of her later years as a justice, um, the things that have stood out for me in many ways were her really compelling dissent. My, you know, my favorite one is for sure the Lily Ledbetter case, where Justice Ginsburg not only highlighted the many, many ways in which the majority's decision did not match the reality of workplace, the reality of pay discrimination. She gave a very pointed call to action in that dissent for Congress to take action and ensure that our pay discrimination laws were meaningful and, and real. And that I dissent piece is so much of her legacy. 
It really is. I mean, that is one of the quotes that she has, uh, you know, established icon status with, I dissent. Um, on Friday, Justice Ginsburg will become the first woman to lie in state in the U.S. Capitol. How significant is this? I have to say that I had to actually check that twice because I initially thought it's 2020. No other woman um, has been bestowed that important honor, but it is true. No other um, woman in government has. Um, and I actually think there's something really special there. The person who did so much groundbreaking, trailblazing work for, for women to be the first person to lie in state. It's a really special time. And I actually think um, befitting for her, but not only for her extraordinary legal work, but because she has inspired a generation of women in this country as activists, as lawyers, and as leaders. And so we will all be watching and paying tribute. She really is, has been such an inspiring figure. Fatima, as the public pays their respects to Justice Ginsburg over today and tomorrow, what do you hope that people remember about her when the ceremony is long over? I hope that people will remember that she fought for all of us. I hope that they will remember that her, her extraordinary approach approach to methodically um, establish core rights, even when they were not there, even when the courts had not yet recognized gender equality in this country as protected under the Equal Protection Clause, that didn't stop her from, from doing it. And I hope people will be reminded that much of that early work, much of what she was doing in those early days was actually crafting the legal framework to match our cultural reality. We're in a very different place culturally in this country right now, and our laws and institutions have fallen behind. Well, Fatima Goss-Graves, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate your time. Thank you.